My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. Oh, hey, oh, hey, how are you doing? Hey, you caught me in the act. Just had a little spot of Southern before the show. Um, did you know that uh, this was Janis Joplin's favorite drink, Southern Comfort? <laughs> Just a little trivia there. I'll put you guys back here somewhere. Live music was always a big deal at a bar I work called Leisure Lodge. I got a photo of it right here. Isn't that great? <laughs> Yeah, Leisure Lodge, I remember it well. On weekends, I got to see some great acts. Ernest Evans, he was one of those shows. You might remember him better as Chubby Checker, the king of the, the rock and roll dance craze. His most famous hit was that B-side cover of uh, Hank Ballard and the Midnighters, The Twist. <laughs> I'm not a very good twister. As a dance movement, the twist changed pop culture by giving uh, people the freedom to break apart on the dance floor. On the twist, well, it also inspired other dance forms uh, such as, oh, the jerk, the mashed potato, <laughs> and let's not forget the funky chicken. I remember thinking I'm probably not going to enjoy the show. You know, Chubby had his day in the sun. He was just an antiquated old hat. Boy, was I wrong. He showed up on stage wearing a sequin jacket that just shimmered under the spotlight. Awesome. <laughs> I remember his band members. Well, they were no older than me at that time. Um, they were hot, hot musicians. Chubby, of course, well, he was, he was pushing 40 and, and he was a little heavy set, a little overweight, but it wasn't until he did the, did the limbo, way low, that I said, this guy's still got it. Whoa, and the audience loved them too. They were mostly made up of middle-aged women and they were pounding their fists and, on the table. Chubby, chubby, right? I, <laughs> this was bizarre, I thought. After the first set, Chubby was up on stage signing uh, eight by 10 glossies of himself to a, a, a endless lineup of anxious women. One of the gals, well, she didn't have a photo for Chubby to sign. So when she got up to the front of the line, she ripped open her blouse and, and slowly, almost teasingly, began to remove her chiffon brassiere. Topless now, she presented herself to Chubby. He gently held her splendid breasts with his big hands. He was a big man, smiled, and wrote on them something memorable, I'm sure. I remember how I could barely keep up making those drinks that night. Oh yeah, there was liquor, there was wine, and I must have made at least a hundred root beer floats. <laughs> well, that's what we're gonna make today, a root beer float. Galliano, well, what is it? It was created in 1896 and is a guarded secret, like most booze. What we do know is that Galliano has some 30 herbs, spices, and plant extracts, including star anise, uh, Mediterranean anise, uh, juniper, yarrow, lavender, peppermint, and even cinnamon. Recently, they came out with a Galliano version with a stronger vanilla flavor. I personally like it with less vanilla, but that's just a preference thing. Let's make a root beer float. First we need a glass and some ice. Hope you don't mind, I'm using my hands, but it's my drink. <laughs> That's your typical, uh, I guess your typical highball, 16 ounce glass. Next thing we need some Galliano. Ooh, I like that sound. Yeah, so we're just gonna pour about an ounce, an ounce and a half. That looks about right. 
of galliano into our glass. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to top it with some uh, cola near the top. And give that a little, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it just sits on top of there, eh? Yeah, we're just gonna give that a little stir. There we go. Next thing, little half and half cream. We're just gonna float about an ounce or so on top. top it with a cherry and a straw and there's your root beer float and another option you could have as I mentioned is uh, some whipped cream I'm cheating I'm not making it from scratch There you have it, a root beer float. Cheers. Hmm. Yummy. It's like candy. <laughs> Pretty amazing drink for having no root beer in it. Also found something else in my uh, collection of memorabilia, some uh, Leisure Lodge matches. <laughs> Love it. Love it. These are not the matches that burnt down Leisure Lodge. Just saying. Well, thanks for watching. Glad you tuned in. Hope to see you again. Be happy, be safe, and please drink responsibly. <laughs> I feel like a kid in a soda shop. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hey, it's Bruce here again. If you like bar talk and cocktails, the untold story. Check out the mini episodes of Bar Lingo and other tidbits. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. That'd be really cool.